What's going on guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. I really do appreciate it. I want to talk about Lizzo. You know, I put up a tweet the other day and I spoke about Lizzo and how I don't believe her fans really care. Not, not a lot of them. I, I do think Lizzo has some fans who really do support her. But she also have fans who are just supporting her because of what she represents. She represents what they would like to be, which is a big female who gets a lot of attention from men or get, who has a lot of who can show off their body and feel confident, quote unquote, about themselves. And what's very interesting is this. I don't care that Lizzo wants to feel good about herself. So she shows about it, even though. She has done it at the you know times I feel like was inappropriate, like when she was at the Lakers game. I, what's that? Um, I think that she also has done things on social media. And I, myself, feel like you're doing a little bit too much, okay? But she has to overcompensate like a lot of women do on social media. They have to overcompensate for maybe their face so they show their body off more. Or if they're a little bit, you know, overweight, got a bit of a belly, but they got big hips, they show their bodies off to overcompensate for the fact that they don't feel as attractive as other women. Because it's, it's a race, you know, it's a race with a lot of these modern day females to see who can get the most attention, what they can do to go to push the envelope. And that's what you're seeing on social media. But with Lizzo, it's amazing to me it is amazing to me how people are turning on her because she dared to drink a detox smoothie on social media they're like how dare you how dare you turn your back on the body positivity movement let me tell you what true body positivity is the true definition of body positivity i believe is someone who cares about their bodies and they put their bodies first, which means they're eating right, they're exercising, and they're doing things to maintain themselves physically, right? But you have these feminists, these liberal feminists, who have taken the word body positivity to mean that they can just look any kind of way and men are supposed to want them, right? They think that men are supposed to want them regardless of how they look. And that mainly has to do with the Caucasian community. If you look at the Caucasian community, you have a lot of those Caucasian guys that are not going to date none of these plus size chicks like that. There's some guys that are, but they're not going to be the standard of beauty. They're going to get shunned. Okay. They're going to get made fun of, which happens. So what they do, they get on social media with the body positivity movement, which is based off of the things that they've gone through. Because if you look at the black community, you look at melanated people, bigger females in the melanated community have not had a problem finding a man. They have not had a problem getting married. We know that. So to me, Lizzo is put out there by these Caucasian liberal feminists to promote their agenda. And when you see this outrage, this fake outrage on social media, about Lizzo drinking a smoothie, they think, oh, she's turning her back on us. She's actually trying to get healthy. Like, oh my God, that is a bad thing that this female would actually want to look better. She would actually want to lose that weight. You do know that eventually she's gonna wanna lose that weight, right? Not only just to look better, but for her own mental health, for her own confidence. She is a tool of lazy women that don't want to do what is necessary to work and build a body that they truly want to get the attention of the men that they want. What they want to do is kind of force men to accept women as they are, which is not, it's never going to work because you got other women who are actually going to be working out. They're going to be in the gym. They're going to be working to fix their bodies to get themselves in the best shape possible you're still going to have to compete with those women and lizzo unfortunately is just a prop for these people 
because some of these people don't really support her. Now she do have hardcore supporters, but she also has people who don't really support her. They just use her. And when you see the fact that they have turned on her like that for literally drinking a detox moldy, can you believe this? They all of a sudden think that she's turning her back on the body positive movement. Well, what do you expect her to do? Be eating burgers and Chinese food live on Instagram? Is that what you want her to be doing? What's funny is that the same people criticizing Lizzo are the same people out here wearing, what do you call it? They're wearing the, uh, the I call it the, uh, the stomach holders. <laughs> you know, they're on treadmills every day. They're going to the gym. They're drinking their water. They're eating their salad. But then they want to get on social media and they want to go after Lizzo who's already getting enough hate. This is why I don't make a lot of videos on Lizzo. I don't dislike Lizzo. If she does something, I may criticize in there, but I'm not going to go at Lizzo because I understand she's stuck between two worlds. She wants to look better. She wants to do better. I'm not saying that she's just this ugly female. What I'm saying is she's somebody that she wants to be accepted who she is, but she knows that to truly feel confident herself, there may come a time when she's gonna have to lose weight to get down to so she can feel more confident in herself, which is what we all should want. And you have other women who are hypocritical and they want to go at her because they feel bad about themselves. That's all that is. You have people who, they are the ones trying to lose the weight. But in the meantime, they want to prop up Lizzo to go out there and be their face, so to speak. And they can use her to sort of make headway in society. Let me tell you something. If a guy didn't like you today because of your size, he's not going to like you tomorrow. That's just the truth. Because when you go online, the only people promoting this body positivity movement are disgruntled Caucasian women who cannot get the men that they want. So they go and they want to talk about body positivity. They want to go on social media and just push the envelope because they want attention badly. They want to be accepted badly. And you know what the crazy thing is? These women will have boyfriends, but that ain't even enough. And usually that boyfriend is the exact opposite of them. Cause trust and believe none of those women are dating big guys. They're dating skinny, slim guys. Okay. They're dating guys who are the exact opposite of them. They only want body, body positivity for themselves because they want the attention of a man. But you also do have a, a segment of women that are lazy and they don't want to do any better. They don't, they don't believe they should have to lose weight. They don't believe they should have to look healthy and they wonder why they're not getting chose. You see, women can complain about not getting chose for being big, but men can't see us as men. We have to go and work out. We got to get in shape or we're not going to get the attention of the women that we want. But we as men understand that we understand that we don't, tr if we don't go out there to do better then we're just going to be left behind. There's not going to be a way to complain about it. No one's going to care. So we have to go and do what is necessary to be able to attract the women that we want to attract. That is the difference between men and women. Let me tell you right now, there's nothing tougher than being an overweight, especially an overweight melanated dude. Cause at least if you are overweight, a uh, Caucasian guy, you know, you got women that worship whiteness. So they're still gonna, you know, now they're still gonna get women, especially mother groupings that want to be with them just based off of their skin tone. We all know this goes on and y'all gonna say, well, Jane, that's not, that's online, Jane. Yeah, right. It's not for some of the videos I've seen <laughs> on social media, <laughs> you know, but when you are an overweight black dude, you got it bad. Okay. You got it real bad. So I think that a lot of these women who are going at Lizzo 
are not real supporters of Lizzo. They're fake supporters, okay? You should want the best for Lizzo because you enjoy her music, but they don't follow her because of her music. They follow her because she represents what they are. And they, they are women who are deeply insecure and they want somebody to represent them. They want somebody to go out there and be famous and show off their body and get on social media and just do the most because that's what they would want to do. They want to be able to do that. Okay. So you should be cool with Lizzo drinking smoothies. It's not like she's on, you know, she's on Instagram, just on treadmill. You know what I'm saying? She's going full workouts, you know, giving you, uh, <laughs> giving you weight loss quotes every day it's like she just drunk a smoothie and you have all these particular females that are triggered and, and that just shows you in our society there's a segment of women that just don't want to change they don't want to take accountability for why they're single they don't want to take accountability for why they are stuck in misery and they're not even trying to better the situation but they want to blame everybody else for why they're where they're at you see, we as men, we don't have the luxury to complain and people just want to make the situation better. We have to make the situation better on our own, which means that we're gonna, we have to step up and make things better for ourselves.